Big update, we have a brand new step in voice flow called the knowledge base search step. This is gonna make your AI answers from the knowledge base 10 times more accurate, and I'm gonna walk you through how to use it. If you've been using the knowledge base query API, you're gonna be familiar with how this works, but it makes it so much faster. So the first thing you wanna do is head over to the dev section here, and you're gonna drag out the KB search step. Now, what this does is it sends a question to the knowledge base and returns back the raw information. So if I add in something like last utterance, and I'm gonna save that raw information to a variable called chunks, let's just hit run and type in something like what is voice flow. And this is gonna actually show me the raw information that it's retrieving from my knowledge base that I can start to use in an AI step. To give you a sense of how this is used, we've actually created a brand new template uh, for any new chat projects. So what this flow is doing is I've got an AI set step here that's actually optimizing the question someone asked with memory. It's searching the knowledge base, it is retrieving the information, and it's creating a really crafted, high accuracy message as an output. Let's do a quick run here and I'll walk you through how this template works. So let's ask it something like, what is voice flow? and it gives me a pretty good answer. And let's ask you something like, tell me more about number three. Now, previously, this was really hard to do in voice flow. You, kind of had, to you had to have a really good understanding of how it worked as a platform and build a lot of side flows around this. But now it's super easy uh, and I can go ahead and it's able to dive into that last point that I had just asked. I can even go ahead and ask it something in a different language, like key a voice flow, which is what is voice flow in Spanish? and it's gonna be able to respond to me in Spanish. Very cool. So let's walk you through a bit about how I'm using this step to actually do this. And again, every template now comes preloaded with this flow, so you can access this right off the bat. So there's a couple of things happening. So before I actually use this step to get information from the knowledge base, the raw information, I'm actually optimizing the question that's being sent in by using memory, and then actually determining what language the user is speaking with the second prompt. Then I am using the KB search step to use that optimized question and retrieve all my chunks from the knowledge base with all that raw information. And then I'm using a really highly crafted prompt to be able to answer the user, incorporate memory, and actually make sure it's done in the language that they're speaking here. And that allows me to actually have an output that is highly accurate, very flexible, and really in tune with the memory of what a user is doing. I can even create a no match path just in case that the chunks that are returned don't necessarily match a specific confidence level and then actually create a no match path to have AI answer questions that I'm not sure we have the information for. So you could have done all these things before with voice flow using the query API, but it was very cumbersome and hard to do. And so we've made that super easy for you with the knowledge based search step. And we've actually pre-built this flow into every template that you create from now on. So you can get up and running with a high accurate AI agent without needing to spend months creating it.